Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to 5 Minute Eats. All right guys, today we've got a little Costco take and bake review for you. This one is an interesting one. It is the Costco Kirkland Signature Ravioli Lasagna with Beef Pork Bolognese Sauce. This is a 3.21 pound tray of it. They're all different weights though, so it's $4.99 a pound. We paid $16.02, which was the cheapest of all of them because we don't know how this is gonna turn out because Costco take and bake stuff, supremely hit or miss. It's very hit or miss. We really love their street tacos, mm -hmm. the yakisoba, and everything else, not so much. But we have said in the past, our store, the people, we think they make it in store, mm -hmm. they put a lot of salt in it. Yes. And we think that's why it's really bad. Yes. A lot of the time, but when they make it right, it's pretty good. Yes. And also, we love the Costco lasagna in the frozen section. Mm -hmm. Now, they have two different kinds. Now, the, the beef one is not always available, mm -hmm. but the sausage and beef. Italian sausage and beef. That's really good. I think, and you think, it's the best lasagna on the market. Great value and just amazing. It tastes really good. Yes. And we also have an entire lasagna playlist. So if you want to check out that, definitely do that. We got a Costco playlist. Check out that. And you know what? We have a playlist for whatever you're looking for. That's correct. And this thing, I was actually shocked because it's ravioli lasagna. Yes. Yeah, so I didn't know really what to expect here, but I gotta say I'm already like slightly disappointed because upon further inspection, because whenever you first get it, it's just like a, a cheese covered item. So you can't really tell what's going on. But now that I have dished this up and kind of taken a closer look at the tray of it, it's really just big honkin' raviolis laid in a tray with some sauce over the raviolis and then just cheese on top. I thought that it might be like ravioli, ricotta sauce, ravioli. No, there's nothing else. To me, that sounds pretty good. I mean, it sounds good, but let me just tell you, it's a gimmick. Because for me, I feel like with lasagna, I don't want too much ricotta cheese in it. I want more. So that's, that's why I'm. Yeah, we've always that's differed why I'm on concerned. that. Concerned because in between the raviolis, there's literally nothing. Like on the bottom of the pan, there seems to be sauce, and then ravioli, ravioli and then sauce and cheese. So in between the raviolis, there's not even extra sauce, which, you know, we love sauce around here, so. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review every day grocery items, so before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This thing is a cheese over... Load. Load, yeah. It is hugely disappointing here because this thing, not enough sauce, there's way too much cheese in it. And the cheese on top, it's like, you ever had those like cheap, um, cheap slices of pizza where the cheese is like... Plastic. Plastic. That's what it tasted like. The, the thing is, man, the sauce is good. It's just too much cheese. The cheese on top, the ricotta cheese, and you got the pasta, but this is just a weird creation. I think this is something that Americans who love cheese might like, but for me, thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Alrighty, <clears throat> did you mean that comment for me? No, because no. I'm an American that likes cheese. For me, it's going to be a thumbs down. And with that being said, I would like to just reiterate that each Costco makes these things. And there seems to be a big, big variation in quality control. So this is a thumbs down for our store making this. Yeah, because every now and then someone comes in and says, my Costco makes it amazing. You're freaking crazy. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, every Come Costco. Come on down over here and yeah, try ours. Try ours, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's not terrible. It's edible. If you bought this, you could definitely salvage it and eat it. But would I ever purchase it again? No, because at least our store 
did not do this properly. The ratios of everything is off. Number one, there needs to be about four times as much sauce than there is currently in there because it's barely like a little I agree. thin varnish of sauce. There's just almost nothing. And it's a shame because the sauce really is the star here. It tastes good. The sauce is well seasoned, not overly salty. Big shocker there. It just tastes really nice. It's a very well balanced, great tasting sauce. However, the problem comes in whenever you get to the actual ravioli, which I love cheese ravioli. I think it's great. Now this one though, they are big raviolis. There's a lot of cheese in there, which normally would be a big hit with me. However, the inside of these, it's very dry. Yeah, it's very dry, the weird texture. Weird texture, it's grainy and dry. It's not creamy, what you would you know expect in something like this, but yes. it's not. Yes, and here's the weird part. I tasted just the pasta shell of it on its own, and that takes on the flavor of the sauce, which is fine. But for some reason, the interior cheese portion of it tastes like raw pasta dough. And it just doesn't taste good at all. And that's like a big portion of this dish is that cheese filling. And they just completely messed it up. They bungled it. Now the cheese on the top also is quite terrible. It is plasticky and just no flavor and greasy. And it's just gross. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with that cheese, but it just didn't work. But the ravioli stacked on top of each other with like no sauce in between it or anything just creates this big brick of like nasty tasting cheese. So huge disappointment. Big to, time. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.